Welcome to my easy ascending gear guide for Guild Wars 2. I will explain you the cheapest and easiest way to get ascended rings, amulets, accessories, backpack, weapons and armors. Timer is available in description. Feel free to activate the English subtitles on the YouTube settings and to subscribe to my channel for more Guild Wars 2 content. Let's go! There are multiple ways to get ascended gear. For both trinkets, weapons and armors, I will explain several possibilities. You choose the best option for you. Ascended Rings The best and most common way to get them is playing Fractals, a 5-man dungeon in PvE. In the Fractal lobby, this NPC will sell you one Ascended Ring for 10 Pristine Fractal Relics. Nearly all stats are available. The main source of Pristine Fractal Relics is a reward chest from doing the Daily Fractals achievement, which give a total of 15 per day if all dailies and recommended are done. In addition, you also can loot rings from the Daily Fractal chest if you are lucky. If you don't want to play any dungeon, the second option is to farm the Bitterfrost Frontier map from Living Story Season 3 in PvE. You don't need any skill to do this. This NPC will sell you an Ascendant Ring with selectable stats for 200 Fresh Winter Berry and 2000 Unbound Magic. Fresh Winter Berry can be gathered from Winter Berry Bush nodes so through the map. If you consume Fresh Winter Berry, you will earn some Unbound Magic. It's all you need to get your Ascendant Ring. You can collect Fresh Winter Berry on the map each day on each character. There is a specific path to collect faster in only 4 minutes per character. There is a video in the description to show you the best path. In only 15 minutes, I recovered on my 4 characters everything I needed. I can now buy the ring and choose that. Ascended Amulet The easiest and best option is far and away to buy the amulet to the Laurel Mercant in World vs. World. Nearly all stats are available. One amulet will cost you 20 laurels and 250 badge of honor. To earn laurels, you only have to log in each day. You will earn a maximum of 55 laurels per month. To earn badge of honor, you only have to participate to World vs. World. The World vs. World Burial Mercant is really the best way to get your ascended amulets. But if you don't have enough laurels, here are some more options. If you enjoy playing World vs. World, the Skirmish Supervisor will sell you an ascended amulet with selectable stats. One amulet will cost 260 World vs. World Skirmish to claim ticket and 250 Memory of Battle. To earn claim ticket, you only have to play World vs. World. You can earn 365 per week. To earn Memory of Battle, you only have to play World vs. World, but you also can buy on the trading post. If you enjoy playing PvP, the Ascended Armor League Wonder will sell you an Ascended Amulet with selectable stats. One Amulet will cost 175 Ascended Shards of Glory and 170 Shards of Glory. To earn Ascended Shards of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP. Even if you lose the game, you will get some. To earn Shards of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP, but you also can buy in the trading post. Finally, you can craft an Ascended Amulet, Vial of Sap. This will cost you about 30 gold. This is not the cheapest method at all, but if you are interested, link of the receipt is available in description. Ascended Accessories The best way is to buy accessories with Guild Commendation. Guild Commendations are a currency earned by participating in Guild missions while representing that Guild. The Guild Commendation Trader located in Lion Arch will sell you accessory for 12 guild commendation on 5 gold. If you don't have any guild, you can join my own guild available to everyone. If interested, you only have to join my Discord server link is in description. Another option to get accessory is from the Laurel Mercant in World vs. World. However, I don't advise you this method since it's very expensive. Nearly all stats are available. One accessory will cost you 40 laurels on 50 globe of ectoplasm. To earn laurels, you only have to log in each day. You will earn a maximum of 55 laurels per month. To earn a globe of ectoplasm, you can buy on the trading post. If you enjoy playing Bovis the Sword, the Skirmish Supervisor will sell you Ascended Accessory with selectable stats. This is a very good alternative to Guild Commendation if you're in trouble to get them. One accessory will cost 175 World vs. World Skirmish Camp ticket and 250 Memory of Battle. To earn camp ticket, you only have to play World vs. World. You can earn 365 per week. To 
to earn memory of battle, you only have to play World vs. World, but you also can buy on the trading post. If you enjoy playing PvP, the Ascended Armor League Vendor will sell you Ascended accessories with selectable stats. One accessory will cost 150 Ascended Shards of Glory, 170 Shards of Glory. To earn Ascended Shards of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP, even if you lose the game, you will get some. To earn Shard of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP, but you also can buy on the trading post. Finally, last option is to farm the Bitterfrost Frontier Map from Living Story Season 3 in PvE. You don't need any skill to do this. This NPC will sell you an Ascended accessory with selectable stats for 300 Fresh Winterberry and 4000 Unbound Magic. Fresh Winterberry can be gathered from Winterberry Bunch nodes so through the map. If you consume Fresh Winterberry, you will earn some Unbound Magic. It's all you need to get your Ascended accessory. You can collect Fresh Winterberry on the map each day on each character. There is a specific pass to collect faster, in only 4 minutes per character. There is a video in the description to show you the best pass. Ascended Backpacks A good option is to farm the Bitterfrost Frontier map from Living Story Season 3 in PvE. This NPC will sell you an Ascended Backpack with selectable stats for 400 Fresh Winterberry on 5000 Unbound Magic. Fresh Winterberry can be gathered from Winterberry Bush Nodes or through the map. If you consume Fresh Winterberry, you will earn some Unbound Magic. It's all you need to get your Ascended Backpack. You can collect Fresh Winterberry on the map each day on each character. There is a specific pass to collect faster in only 4 minutes per character. There is a video in the description to show you the best pass. Another option is the Siren's Landing Map from Living Story Season 3 Episode 6 in PvE. The renowned Hurt NPC on this map will sell you Ascendic Backpack with selectable stats for 200 Orion Pearl and some Karma. You can earn Orion Pearl from Gathering, Jumping Puzzle of this map, and Home Instance Gathering if you unlocked the node. Finally, if you are lazy, you can craft Ascended Backpack. This is quite expensive, but if you are impatient and rich, this is the best solution. Quiver of a thousand arrows can be crafted for about 60 gold. Recep link is in description. Ascended weapons. You can craft. Link is in description. You can loot, but it's random. You can buy to vendor with currency. I will explain you this method now. First option is playing fractals, a five-man dungeon in PvE. In the fractal lobby, this NPC will sell you one ascended weapon of your choice for 24 Fractal Research Page, 800 Fractal Relics, 5 Gold and 3 Grand Master Mark. You can earn Research Page and Fractal Relics from playing daily recommended Fractals. You can earn Grand Master Mark from playing World vs. World or Ranked PvP, or craft them. Link to receipt is available in description. If you enjoy playing PvP, the Ascended Armor League vendor will sell you an Ascended Weapon with selectable stats. One weapon will cost you 400 Ascended Shard of Glory, 250 Shard of Glory, 5 Gold and 3 Gold Master Mark. To earn Ascended Shards of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP. Even if you lose the game, you will get some. To earn Shard of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP, but you also can buy on the trading post. You can earn Grand Master Mark from playing World vs. World or Ranked PvP, or craft them. Link to receipt is available in description. If you enjoy playing World vs. World, the Skirmish Supervisor will sell you Ascended Weapon with selectable stats. One weapon will cost 350 World vs. World Skirmish Claim Ticket, 250 Memory of Battle, 5 Gold, and 3 Grand Master Mark. To earn a Claim Ticket, you only have to play World vs. World. You can earn 365 per week. To earn Memory of Battle, you only have to play World vs. World, but you also can buy on the trading post. You can earn Grand Master Mark from playing World vs. World or Ranked PvP, or craft them. Link to receipt is available in description. Ascended Armors. You can craft. Link is in description. You can loot, but it's random. You can buy to vendor with currency. I will explain you this method now. First option is playing Fractals, a 5-man dungeon in PvE. In the Fractal lobby, this NPC will sell you Ascended Armor of your choice. The full set will cost a total of 88 Fractal Research Page, 3000 Fractal Relics, 
14 gold on 20 Grandmaster Mark. You can earn Research Page on Fractal Relics from playing Daily Recommended Fractals. You can earn Grandmaster Mark from playing World Race Swallow or Ranked PvP or craft them, link to recipes available in the description. If you enjoy playing PvP, the Ascended Armor League Vendor will sell you Ascended Armor with selectable stats. The full set will cost a total of 1000 on 200 Ascended Shards of Glory, 1000 on 500 Shards of Glory, 13 gold on 20 Grandmaster Mark. To earn Ascended Shards of Glory, you'll only have to play Ranked PvP, even if you lose the game, you will get some. To earn Shard of Glory, you only have to play Ranked PvP, but you also can buy on the trading post. You can earn Grandmaster Mark from playing World vs. World or Ranked PvP or Craft them. Link to receive is available in description. If you enjoy playing World vs. World, the Skirmish Supervisor will sell you Ascended Armor with selectable stats. The full set will cost a total of 1310 World vs. World Skirmish Claim Ticket. 1,500 Memory of Battle, 30 gold, on 20 Grandmaster Mark. To earn Clam Ticket, you only have to play World Race of Sword, you can earn 365 per week. To earn Memory of Battle, you only have to play World Race of Sword, but you also can buy on the trading post. You can earn Grandmaster Mark from playing World Race of Sword or Ranked PvP, or Craft them. Link to recipes available in description. Last tip, you can change stats of your Ascended Weapons and Armors for a very low amount of gold. Link to receipt is available in description. That's all, thanks for watching, I really hope this guide will help you. Feel free to subscribe to my channel for more Guild Wars 2 content. If you want to make gold in Guild Wars 2, I created Gold Guide, all my tips to farm and to make easy, fast and lazy gold in Guild Wars 2. Link is in the description. Thanks everyone, I wish you the best.